Hey everybody, it's been a while. I um, wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Firebird. Tempest, nothing really happened to it. Mm, I've been using this to finish up customers' kits um, and test fit them. Working on some stuff for the Datsun, I'll explain that later. And there's that right hand drive dash that I made. But, here's the Firebird. Um, we got it home and as you can see it's all apart. We have solid subframe bushings as well as rubber ones. We're gonna pull the engine as soon as I figure out how to do it safely on the sand. I'm probably gonna add wheels and stuff to the uh, <clears throat> engine hoist. There is rust that needs to be taken care of, so I, I need to buy this. But we have full length floors. There's some patches I'm gonna have to make. Um, we have to patch the quarters. We have a whole tail light panel. We need to replace the radiator support. Um, and Evelyn's been working hard on this. This is actually her car. Uh, it's been registered the whole the whole time. And uh, yeah, I mean, I did a little bit, but she's been working really hard on this. Uh, we haven't been able to film anything. It's just we've been busy, but as you can see, there's substantial amount of damage on the subframe itself. That needs to be replaced. Uh, the floors, you know, from here they may look solid. That's because we patched them a long time ago with 16 gauge. Um, but they're actually really bad. Well, you can't see it, but they're gonna be replaced. This quarter panel that was uh, reskinned using flux core maybe six, seven years ago. Seven years ago. Eight years ago, even. Um, I'm, I don't know, I might redo them again or I might make patch panels. This entire panel is gonna be replaced, uh, it already exists. See this. Let's fix that. I'm gonna have to replace the trunk floor. This car has been through quite a bit. There's a lot of a lot of damage. Uh, but it's served us well and we're not gonna just throw it away. Another kind of exciting thing is I'm gonna try to do an IRS for the back. Um, build a cradle of sorts that'll let you use the Super 8.8 that I use for the Datsuns. And those are incredible differentials. They've been as fast as 7.8 to 175 in a heavy Mustang. So they can take a lot. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is using the factory control arms, but a narrowed subframe kind of deal that'll keep the Camaro slash Firebird track width and bolt in so you don't have to hack up the frame rails. If I could pull it off, um, then it'll allow people to use aftermarket control arms, etc. because only the cradle will be custom, but the control arms will be factory, which means anything that works factory will also work with aftermarket. Because then I don't have to, to design aftermarket stuff. There's a lot of people that are doing that already, so that'll open up some options. Uh, and keep costs down. We'll see. That's that's just a pipe dream at this point. Well, not really. I, I am uh, doing some horse training with customers that bought an entire subframe for their Datsun, but they're only using the diff and the hubs and stuff. I'm going to have to patch this. Oh, boy. So, yeah, that's a little five-minute update. Um, it's life's been, life's been pretty interesting. Hopefully everybody's out there staying safe. So are we. We're enjoying the desert. So we're just keeping busy. As soon as uh, I've caught up on the orders for the dots and stuff, I do plan on making a few videos, a little more progress. And uh, I'm I'm personally blown away by how much work Evelyn was has done with this. Uh, she threw herself at it and has been working very hard. So there's pictures and stuff on Instagram you guys can find. It's, you know, same page, same name as this page. So 
I do plan on replacing the upper control arms with BMR and the tall ball joints and the Delrin bushings. The lowers I may replace. Uh, just the uppers are, there's an improvement in geometry. If you replace the uppers, the lowers will either get rebuilt and boxed or replaced too. Because the bushings are gone just like the body bushings are too. This thing was long due for an overhaul, so it, uh, it'll get the proper work. Subframe connectors are definitely happening. Um, yeah, there's quite a bit that's going to go on here. And then I got to deal with the oil pressure issue, pull the engine, see what's going on. Yeah. Lots to do. Well, stay safe out there, guys, and I'll keep you guys updated uh, as soon as I can.